possible to extend to both online and offline participants a very warm welcome on behalf of the Department of Spices and Plantation Crops, who has clubbed all of us for the endowment lecture on technological innovation for increasing production and profitability of tropical spices in India by Dr. K. Nirmal Babu, retired director, Indian Institute of Spices Research, Calicut, Kerala. Now, I would like to call Dr. K. Venkateshan, Professor and Head, Department of Spices and Plantation Crops, to give a welcome speech. Very good afternoon. Respected Dean SPGS, Dr. N. Sendhil, and our respected Madam, Dr. Irene Vadamani, Dean of Horticulture, Hachi and R.A. TNA Kwaimuthu, and uh, our respected speaker, Dr. K. Nirmal Babusar, he is a retired IAHR, IASR director, and uh, all MSc students, or PhD students of respective of all the departments. On behalf of Department of Spices and Plantation Crops, Hachi and R.I. I, and Dean SPGS, I welcome to all. So, it is our most of our respected Vice Chancellor. Uh, this is allotted to this endowment lecture for Hachi and R.I. Kwaimuthur. Uh, so, this, I thank Munada for the allotment of this endowment lecture for Hachi and R.I. Kwaimuthur. And mostly our Dean Horticulture, Dr. Irene Vadamani, Madam, is uh, in attending another meeting at uh, Nagapatnam. Uh, but uh, and he uh, is uh, very cordially and uh, support to all the encouragement uh, and also i welcome madam and all our students okay and uh, our dean irene vadamani madam is on online uh, will speak one or two words madam okay okay, uh, okay madam ma please please madam Dr. Nirmal Babasar and uh, Dean SBGS available, Madam. Okay. Respected Vice Chancellor, Madam, Dean SBGS, Frozen Head Department of Spices and Plantation Crops, uh, staffs and students of uh, TNAU. Very good afternoon to all. Um, I am thankful to VC, Ma'am, and Dean SBGS for giving this op opportunity to organize this uh, endowment lecture. Uh, first of all, I am happy to introduce our uh, guest speaker. Dr. Kanchipudi Nirmal Babu. Uh, sir is the former director and national coordinator of Spices Research at ICAR, Indian Institute of Spices Research, Kolikud. He obtained his PhD from University of Calicut and did his postdoc at University of California. His main areas of work were genetic resources, crop improvement, and biotechnological aspects in spices, including micropropagation, in vitro conservation on spices germplasm, exploiting stomoclonal variation for crop improvement, standardization of genetic transformation protocols, fingerprinting of spices germplasm, isolation of resistance genes, analogs, and developing molecular maps. He has published over uh, 300 publications and co-edited more than 200 books on spices. Moreover, he is a fellow of Indian Society of Spices, National Academy of Biological Sciences, Society for Applied Biotechnology, and Confederation of Horticulture Associations of India. He was a member of a review committee on genetic manipulation, food safety and standards authority of India, spices and culinary herbs, geographical indication, and PPB of 4 a that is Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers' Rights Act, Rights Act Panel of on Spices. Moreover, now also he is very much interested on helping farmers on spices. With these few introductory words, I invite um, Dr. Kanchipati Nirmal Babu, sir, to deliver his endowment lecture on spices. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon to all. So, today's chief guest, Dr. K. Nirmal Babu, former director, ICR Indians. Institute of Spices Research, Kerala, Professor and Head, Department of Spices and Plantation, Dr. Venkateshan, the Dean Horticulture, Dr. Irene Vedamuni, and senior faculties, students, 
of both ma masters and phd students of various department the participants the scientists online and the students in other campuses who are watching this lecture online i will i welcome you for this endowment lecture by dr nirmal babu so the horticulture uh, horticulture college research institute is forerunner in any kind of programs which been organized by dean pg studies they are highly supporting and uh, one such is event is today's endowment lecture where today's the technological innovation for increasing production and profitability of tropical spices in india this is the major talks today we are going to he uh, hear from dr nirmal babu so you all know that uh, why we invited the senior faculties for deliver the lecture because uh, the the experience which he gained in the spices because he worked in uh, when i talked to the morning he told the, the, all the spices uh, different spices plantations crops were together at the time he was working in all the crops now separate institutes are formed but the system in which spices crops you know that india is one of the richest diversity of spices and also the spices in which the two three decade before we approach the spices is now different because at the time we don't have much analytical technique we don't have much purification techniques we select some for example if you turmeric we say that color or some kind of major curcumin now the people talking which fraction of curcumin you need so whether it is dimethoxy bismethoxy or curcumin which kind of fra which fractions you need so market also changing now the consumers also changing because consumer asking that this specific fraction is there higher in a particular genotype we are ready to pay premium prices by that the export market and also the traders are looking for that so the system in which the breeding program or management strategies where the spices are working earlier days now is changing so when like that when you talk about the chili we are not earlier days we have chili that's all one type of chili but now the people asking why, what is the pungency how much the uh, content in the particular variety so this will again be a big challenge now so so those challenges you cannot get simply from the classroom because he moved to the different researchers and became a administrator and he have moved to the industries and also now he experience all sort of experience which he gained in the last three decades on how the spices research and spices industry is working on that so those experience you cannot get it in a single classroom things we cannot hire him as a faculty we cannot get his experience but we can be here a as in the friday afternoon and uh, which uh, in a happy atmosphere in the in the in the learning system just you can interact and whatever he deliver you can absorb that then it will be the you are all the future horticulturist or spice some of you may be the focus on spices only so this will help us to focus your area and enrich your domain knowledge in your particular area by that you are benefited so the, in that in that case uh, in, in this is the way that many of the lectures even the people from other disciplines like uh, the, and the soil scientists or agronomists or the biotechnologists or pathal they can learn, learn from the cross discipline which are all the areas nowadays the horticulture crops are getting momentum because people shifting from um, from annual crops to the uh, plantations or the horticulture crops because lack of labor and the many other for climatic changes many thing the people want to move out to the other crops so you are domain knowledge also you can you can work on people working in certain area you may not be a much funding or you may not have much product so you can move on other areas to work with the people in horticulture and you can develop some product and it will be a big market value so these are the things you can learn from the cross discipline which in this lecture will definitely help you so i think sir i will uh, your your, ex your experience in this area definitely will help help our students learn from you i am also eager to learn for, uh, from your lecture thank you for accepting our invitation for come over to the tnau and on behalf of vice chancellor i am also thank you for this uh, wonderful evening you are sharing with us
and vice chancellor is keen enough keen in uh, inviting the people like you for the national uh, national professors and the people scientists from national importance been to be invited in tnau to share their experience to the tnau students in that way we really welcome you for this evening session sir thank you for giving me the opportunity thank you one and all so india is the land of spices there are about 63 spices grown in india and almost all the spices can be grown in, grown in varied agroclimatic conditions however the tropical condition is best suited for the cultivation of spices with more economic uh, value with this context and to know more about the advancement in technology related to the tropical spices i would like to call upon stage uh, chief guest dr k nirmal babu to deliver his lecture good morning deliberately did not say in the afternoon <laughs> be as fresh as possible we are not talking subject just have fun okay just see some pictures and what you see in those pictures just relax try to get something because one day i went to a learned man and told i have the world collection of spices genetic resources he just said just tell me what you have which nobody has if you don't have it number has nothing that's the point what is it you have which is unique then you can utilize it you can sell it you can trade it you can, what not that's the point anyway while we are doing what we are doing i just thought that some little great people's quotes so that okay jo, don't note down because i brought 200 slides okay so you can copy them quickly see the picture hmm get the point have we lost the ability to predict are we living in today's world or are we thinking about the future then the same thing which you are doing is slightly alters in a new world you know your mobile phone will teaches you so many things you know at least as you go on skipping your uh, whatsapp messages you know you will be wondering how the same thing we look can be viewed so differently by so many people oh i never thought by looking at the same this is like this because you know we have become into in in a molecular biology or biotechnology terms canalized our mind doesn't go it just been told this is the way this is the margin so have your originality everybody talks about out of box inside box inside box also there is something otherwise you don't study the box or in between originality don't lose and the fun of being child whatever may be even at this age now i realize i have wasted so much of my time in straight lines life doesn't go so this is the topic don't worry okay it's a spices team we are all spices team or horticulture team working in the in the small lines of india but certainly thinking globally as i was telling because india is a small part of globe which is a minute part of what we call universe the rules of the laws of universe completely different so i come to my crops spices okay only thing don't worry about data why did the whole world from thousands of years searching for spices if they don't have anything they have been searching and that has led to discovery of so many continents people are searching for the land of spices and searching all over ships teams why are they doing it what are those essential part i want to put that into your mind not uh, this pilli 
and maybe some small, small things you do. See, they have been traveling. It's a great temptation. You know, if you eat a biryani without spice, I don't think you will eat second time. OK. It activates your senses. It activates your taste. It activates your imagination. If you are sitting here and uh, the smell of a biryani comes, your mind will be working in so many things and you'll be planning whether by the time I go, whether it will be over, then who should be, what should be the push? So much imagination. OK, it's a great temptation. But it contributes to global design because it contributes to taste. OK, so it's fun. Please understand, I always say the word spices are. High in value, but low in volume. It should not be other way around. OK, and what it does, whatever we eat. Or by dreaming, you know, the moment you smell, whether you eat or not, your systems, your biology is active. OK, taste, color, flavor, aroma, perfumery. Many of your uh, cosmetic products have spices. Some problem? Mm. You can hear now. If you are not able to hear, just tell us. Huh? No. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, good. Thank you, sir. And uh, below, I have given Spice RX. There is a website. Cost by lab. IIT Delhi. The biochemists are people who are working in the biochemistry. This is the database in IIT Delhi. Where each of the spice crop, all the publications of its medicinal other therapeutic uses, both positive and negative, all the publications are available. Some of you who are who want to find out, as I was telling, spices are source of high value compounds. If you are only simply adding biryani and making it, maybe after some time nobody may eat biryani. Maybe 15 years from now, they uh, you eat only in KFC or something or something and whatever they give in a different form. But kindly go to the website. Because I do believe you need not know everything. You need not with a within a digital word. Everything will be available in the tip of your hand if you want. But you should know where to get it when you need it. So keep that alertness. Need not remember who is the past president of India or 500 years back. What has happened? You can get it. But then you should know where to get it when you need it. Certainly. OK, just to say spices. Spices are the first, fourth largest in export. After fish, buffalo meat, basmati rice. Fourth largest. Today, the spices export earns 5 billion. And it is targeted by 2050 to 20 billion. 20 billion. You want to be part of it? It's up to you. Just try to catch what you can commercialize. We export to about 130 countries out of 195. Literally, the other countries doesn't really know what is spice, but now we are exporting. From earlier, we used to supply the raw materials. Now, high value compounds. So the question was how to reach 10 billion by 2030 and 20 billion by 2050. We only export 10 to 15 percent of our spices we produce and that turns 5 billion. If you increase it to 20 percent, it can become 10 billion very easily. So what I am trying to say is we consume 80 percent of what we produce. For people who are in business, it's a guarantee. Spices business don't fail. Export may fail sometimes, but its consumption doesn't fail. That means it's a safe commodity to deal with. 
topics very simple. So as I told you, you want to be the best. OK, you can be. But be unique, unique. There's no other. That is the specialty of spices. So while we are working, uh, everybody does a SWOT analysis. You know, all of us, if you want to do business, because you know, as of now, how many of you want to continue in agriculture? Your fathers doesn't want you because you have not touched soil. You don't want to touch because your nails become ugly. Or. OK. I always used to send a quote. For a farmer, for many people, it is mud. But farmer, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. If you would have seen the film Martian, you know, you know Elon Musk because it's a, he's a billionaire. All billionaires and Shah Rukh Khan's we all know. OK, he's a billionaire and he want to go to take you all of you to Mars and so many other places. How, what do you eat there? What do you grow? What do you do there? OK, you need nutrients. You have to make soil or soil type. Otherwise, the plants doesn't grow. Plant, if the plants doesn't grow, oxygen doesn't come, food doesn't come. You may have to live by, how many of you live by tablet? Just tablet, your requirement will come. Because food is fun. Enjoying it is fun. Life is fun. OK, so these are the issues. Uh, the, uh, the, what is happening in spices for India? India has a big problem because we started growing spices for thousands of years. So the soil has degraded. The quality of spices have degraded. And uh, uh, you know, ecological, sustainable. These are a common words. Post harvest processing, high cost, market instability. You know, it's all part of as it becomes old, as it becomes more, or as it becomes less. These are all part of the thing. Market intelligence. So there are two components in most of you. Uh, when you study a soil science, you are studying only soil science. When you are studying horticulture, you are studying only horticulture. When you are studying PhD, you are studying only this. But it is never in its small boxes. It's a holistic picture of why do we need spices? Why people are searching? Where will they grow? How to bring it? How to market it? How to process it? And how to use it? It's a total picture. So the picture is that that's what in the present day is called supply chain management. OK, so at every stage is important. If the farmer loses interest in agriculture, from where will you get your raw material? You won't. So we have to take each of each of them. Essentially, it is telling there are so many gaps. Obviously, when there are too many people and too little uh, finances and uh, resources are not available and the connectivity is missing. This will happen. OK, and uh, we have another trait. Not only India, but everywhere. It is we adulterate. If I work very hard, and earn a million, it doesn't give me happiness. If I cheat somebody and earn 10 rupees, oh, what a happiness I get. So typically, typically, we try to mix it, adulteration, with something else which is cheaper. And we also add other contaminants because we are unhygienic in our these things plays a very, very important role, especially in spices. Everywhere it plays. That's why our uh, prime, honorable prime minister says Swachata. Swachata everywhere. The way we think, the way we act, the way we manage. As I was telling, earlier spices are just material to be added as raw material. Now it is no more. It is processed foods. Processed foods for cosmetics, food color, high value compounds, 
nutraceuticals big money running into billions and billions as i have studied cosmo one good thing is we india produces half of world spices we are but i don't think in future we are going to remain china is fast catching up vietnam is fast catching up many other countries have realized that spices have great potential and we because we live with spices we just forgot you know we don't go to nearby temples we just go to rajasthan and visit those temples that's the always been so i think all of you know the spices system here is in uh, what you call icr based uh, nas agricultural system it is two national institute one is at calicut for tropical spices other one is ajmer for seed spices and linking about 38 centers in state agricultural universities is all india coordinated research project on spices and spices trade is handled by spices board which sets the rules regulations and standards for spices cultivation marketing and trade and also on the ministry of agriculture dsd directorate of hurricanet and spices development so these are the agencies which hold this photo is a little extended uh, a picture the photo of turmeric in the center is from tamil nadu agricultural university coimbatore okay so you see we have this is our germplasm diversity literally we have but still we can't answer what we have which no other person has uniqueness of our spices i think the horticulture students must always whichever crop you are working i want to tell you only this are you looking for that unique genotype or that unique process or the unique formulation or the unique compound unique that is the idea i want to give there so many so much as you look you know so much what is uniqueness of x y and z that's what we have to look for black pepper quickly i'll go through just have a look just see pictures only okay so much diversity look at the spike spike diversity cardamom cardamom now black pepper and cardamom earlier black pepper was not much for tamil nadu cardamom was now black pepper is coming up very well sir in kerala almost 10000 tons nearly is produced in tamil nadu east coast okay ginger now maybe rose was kept there roses were kept there you could have kept ginger flowers okay why get ginger flowers are some of the great ornamental the entire south asia southeast asia uses ginger flowers ginger it is called okay okay how a european looks how a chinese looks how a oriental looks how an african looks think that is the diversity which is available it's not 1.5 2.5 3.5 1 divided by this no 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 just have a look at it look at the color of turmeric how much of color is available in different you know different markets wants different color we are all knowledgeable generation new generation okay so what is your favorite color it's available in you know japanese market want light yellow color turmeric only so the entire turmeric for japanese market goes from maidakur kadapa in andhra pradesh can tamil nadu do it do you have a light yellow color turmeric in your whoever is working look for it and ornamentals you just see look at the rhizome architecture nodes internodes the way it grows 
mother rhizomes you know it also tells about how the plant grows this is tree spices you know tamarind is uh, curry leaf they are all important to the mind this is nutmeg clove lavang you know? it it goes i think tamil nadu is number 1 where it is coming okay uh, anyway cloud La largest supplier is tamil nadu you know boom got what happened okay right garcinia anti obesity anti obesity compound if you go to youtube or google you will find so many sites which are giving combo juice for you to become thinner it's available within this country why we should purchase from other countries when we have it here 1 kg of vanilla if you can grow 1 kg of vanilla you get about 30000 rupees Per, key, per kilogram you can grow them in your any tree which grows in your home all you have to do is ask your grandmother or somebody who is having little past time in gardening interest to pollinate you are getting 30000 rupees to 1 kilogram of vanilla importance this is another aspect because we are not coming up to the mark with so many of us so many students so many of us are studying working okay but this not so mscs not so phds they are also working the farmers this is a picture of farmers varieties do you know the best cardamom variety is only a farmers variety nellaini green gold is a farmers variety why did we fail we have so much of equipment so much knowledge so much exposure and he is a millionaire from his variety so if you can identify a variety unique that's enough your investment is made you can be millionaire so watch watch out watch out this patani okay i will show later on you see the black pepper you see the bunches i think uh, where i can okay yeah you see the you know multi branched we have failed to see identify when you are going around your gardens wherever you go keep your self to catch catch that unique horticulture maybe for horticulture students was an art it has becoming science but it is still an art are you looking for it or only collect some four genotypes put to the standard deviation standard error and uh, do all those things and miss the uh, target look okay this farmer again a millionaire he is from trivandrum and uh, okay and see the nutmeg today ppfra has got about 25 cardamom varieties for registration 25 sir how many nutmeg varieties our system was able to produce why because we are so busy doing something else okay see this patani pepper this photograph is from near to coimbatore your asrp center has the photographs the biggest bold see the boldness why what has happened okay see the black ginger okay red ginger yellow nutmeg mind you these are all detected by farmers that means we are going around studying with our eyes closed vanilla one of the most important crops introduced because saffron saffron is the costliest spice most of you 
would have purchased at one time or other. And uh, what you purchase is adulterated. Because anyway, Safran, we, we are trying to introduce Safran to Arunachal Pradesh. Large Kadamo. Arunachal, okay. What is your idea of your India? Only Tamil Nadu or Kerala or your state or what you see in Google or YouTube, your mobile phone. India is a great country. It has almost every climate available in the world. Target Arunachal is as beautiful, if not more beautiful than Kashmir. Only thing is, it is far away, both in distance and, and from our minds. So I have just given you an idea about how much is the range of so many things are there like you. But we have to conserve. Conservation is possible. This and I'll leave it. You know, we use digital technology based on data available. Try to identify using a GIS models the areas where the maximum diversity is available and protect it. If you don't protect it, in situ. That means I think today in uh, um, MSN I saw 83% of all our biodiversity has already disappeared. 83. These are all our achievement, mine and you. We achieved so much greatness. We were not able to do anything, but we made 83% of many organisms like us to disappear and multiplying the dangerous organisms like COVID. Because we do research without concern. You will be able to even detect and find out where the species may be available. It's a model to find out in an unexplained area because if you have a climatic model and all those things, we will be able to superimpose and find out what are all the species which will be existing in a completely unexplored area. And if you are not able to conserve in the native home, you have to bring it to executive conservation. I think I was made to understand there was a presentation by NBPGR scientists. So they would have told you ex situ, in situ, and in vitro conservation. This is our IASR. We have 1,600 turmeric varieties, sir. 1,600 turmeric varieties. But all of us know only 20, first 20. All students also will do research on first 20 only. The remaining, it will be there in tub. Because the material is easily available. Earlier somebody is doing, you give that material to me also. To me also. To me also. So I was wondering, when we will complete the 1,600 and find that uniqueness. This is the National Active Gene Bank. Indian Institute of Spices Research is the NAG Center. In vitro, maybe more detailed information is already given by NBPGR scientists. This is in vitro gene bank where the cultures of the plants, microbes, endophytes, whatnot, everything can be maintained in slow growth and as well as cryo. Cryo preservation is given. There may be another uh, information which would have given how to conserve pollen. Because if you want to hybridize differentially flowering crops, how to bring the pollen and pollinate. Pollen gene banks is also IIHR. Uh, if you are in touch with Dr. Rajashekar and NBPGR, they're doing pollen preservation so that you can bring. This is vanilla. We use cryo preservation for. You are all modern people, biotechnology people, and the DNA banks are available. Today, we don't know what will be the future system, whether people get married, 
people have families. I don't know. I have no idea, but you can have your DNA bank. It will be available. And it's already become a fashion. OK. The point I want to give you. They want to recreate, reproduce of their own. Not somebody's. Please understand the difference own and somebody. What then what happens? There won't be attachment. There won't be what we call sacrifice, leaving for others. No concern. Like another. Maybe a little bit affection will be there as much as we have an affection to our pet. Either cat or a dog or something little bit. But a system, a society which will come. Which is not connected anymore by. Bloodline we call. Anyway, it's there. The digital database because tomorrow if we have 1900, somebody has to find out now authentication. What is the species? Who will tell you? This is a sort of a digital herbarium and a digital database. And everything is available for spices at Indian Institute of Spices Research. These are all models which we are telling. And then once we have, we try to develop, improve the varieties and what should be the minimum standards. OK, somebody said uh, something is going on. There is something called Illuminati. You have heard Illuminati? OK, if not, just look Google and find out what is Illuminati. But the point is there are few people just like the SS, you know, where our Hitler belongs, Aryan race, purifying, purifying the race. Just like in plants, they want only people like this, this much height, this much color, this much intelligence, this much. So in plants, we also do it. <laughs> Minimum standards and above which the varieties. And uh, I'm just telling, sir, this is for the staff and uh, uh, this thing and all of it. The moment you find something new, something unique, immediately you develop data, publish it in your annual report or anything and register it in your name. If anybody uses it for patenting or anything, anything, they have to take permission and they have to pay you. These are all opportunities for all of us, which most of us are missing because we are thinking only sir, sir, some marks, please. Marks, 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 marks is not a criteria. You, you know, it's fun. Horticulture is fun. Look for it and register. These are all registered uh, varieties. And if re actually ICR gives equal credit to a registered variety as much as your released variety, new variety. So look for uh, the uniqueness and immediately should be the property of Tamil Nadu, it should be property of TNA, it should be property of the student who identified it. So we have developed uh, so many varieties. Just a quick look. This is black pepper. One of the high, the trait is no other variety can yield as much when you want. Trait is, it's a karamunda. See the sink and source difference. Vegetative growth is very little. And the, you know, ideal, idiotype. Wide adaptability. It can grow in climatic climate change situations. Phytophthora resistance tolerance is available for this variety. Yields are not much. This particular one shows field tolerance. You know, many of you use the word field tolerance. Field tolerance means it is if you inoculate, it will die. But if you put it in the infected field, it will survive because the trait of phytophthora resistance is introduced by the excellent deep root system. We call it root regeneration capacity. Phytophthora damages roots. It will go on damaging. This will go on producing. So don't always look for resistance per se because you want to isolate resistant genes, these genes. It is not always you look for the trait. This is for drought. OK, drought is a trait. Maybe many of you may be biotechnology working for drought. Drought is not a trait. It is a million traits. 
okay you can overcome drought or nematode resistance or even uh, root, anything root damaging this thing with an excellent deep root system if you can develop even with a biological control vam which can increase the root system you don't need resistant yeah i'm susceptible okay i will give you a small story when i was a small boy maybe 60 years back we are in a dirty place in andhra pradesh we used to that police snickers you no know? no shirt nothing run around we used to play on the roads the only playground is the road the only game is from 100 meters to any amount of meters jumping here and there hop step and jump are difficult only running we used to drink whatever water is available maybe sir may be knowing when we travel in trains you know whenever station comes we used to run with bottles to put tap today nobody puts water okay i never feel sick now we became sophisticated like you like me now if i take water outside instantly my throat goes now i am asking you am i resistant then am i susceptible now then how are you trying to identify my phenotype and isolate the resistant genes you are just searching some nonsense you go on fooling around transcription factors you will say then expression you will say eh, promoters you will say they are all escape routes that's why with so many papers nothing has been really obtained because we have missed the target completely just have anyway characterization i will tell you at the end just these are all some that slides are available okay this is nellani green gold farmer variety earlier we used to think tamil nadu cardamom tamil nadu kerala border monar cardamom and poor cardamom is different the cardamom from that region doesn't grow here this region doesn't grow there because we sat there they sat here they started working with their genotypes we do not this will work everywhere and a farmer has to do it why one day one farmer came for vanilla he is 61 years old he said sir tell can you tell me how to pollinate i said the flower is on top of the tree then put some ladder sir i he climbed it and then saw the flower only one flower was there and took it uh, then i said see my students are there they are watching you to climb it you are 61 year old you climbed my students never climb they said sir they are studying for fun this is my life you know the difference na no? if you do it like that you will do okay one such your life is fulfilled you not only make money but also improve the nation contribute to the nation life long and more generations hmm. these are all some photographs just have a look each one has a different trait okay fruits size flowering intensity length number of inflorescences and this is turmeric size big size bold size means more water dry record is less this means primaries and secondaries and tertiaries are there this has only primaries primaries means in the market this is attractive mother rhizome not observable that means the plant you know you can indirectly without looking i by looking at it i can, i'll be able to tell the plant height trait <laughs> the height is going to be very small the plant on the top is going to be very small because the mother rhizome is small it's a short plant type so there are so many traits by which you know when you look at it farmers know how many mango varieties you can identify maybe four or five even those ones in which you work you cannot identify without labor identify look for those traits okay this is pratibha the first seed derived turmeric variety turmeric doesn't flower it but it flowers in our institute just like sugar cane flowers in coimbatore only seed derived prabha and pratibha turmeric has two oh, 
sets of genotypes. One is a triploid, other one is a tetraploid, tetraploid flowers. See the now I'm just telling you, I have already told you the mother rhizome is small, plant head. Now you see the plant head is going to be the biggest and tallest. This is another variety from uh, Lucknow. Okay, the mother rhizome. Mother rhizome, first year, second year, third year also, it continues to grow. It will grow up to this much. Okay. This is BSR2. Anybody knows BSR2? Your variety, turmeric. Okay, it has increased curcumin content slightly more. Actually, sir, I have sent to you the turmeric uh, uh, status of turmeric uh, in the International Spice Research Institute, and it says Tamil Nadu turmeric means it is less than three. Less than three curcumin. Turmeric is for service telling curcumin. Tamil, the uh, except Kerala. Most of the South Indian varieties are less than three. It is for masala only. It cannot be used for curcumin extraction. Curcumin extraction means AFT, Alapi finger turmeric, which comes from Kerala, above 5%. So you should look for 5% curcumin. This is Lakada. Lakada is the best variety of curcumin from India, from Meghalaya. Megha also it is called. It is an average of 8% curcumin. Just have a look at, see the shape, the rhizome traits, which are there, whoever is working in turmeric. This is the curcumin content. All of them are below 5. Okay, only the AFT. This is ginger. Some of you are working in ginger. Just look at the rhizome traits. Baki, I, I won't say. But some of you can uh, talk to with me later on. I'll be able to say this particular one. Uh, anyway, I just say one of the traits: extra bold, high flavor. You walk into the ginger field, you will just enjoy the flavor of ginger. Parada is for vegetable type of ginger. This is Himagiri for low temperatures. See the extra bold. It is from Himachal Pradesh. This is the latest variety, Vajra. This particular one is light yellow color in, and it is also suitable to, because why I'm telling, turmeric in from India, I mean ginger from India is for dry ginger. Now, ginger is needed for vegetable ginger. 50% of ginger market is controlled by China and Vietnam. And it is vegetable ginger, extra bold, less fiber, and fine, and not very strong sense, very delicate. So if we want to compete in future with China, we must develop vegetable ginger. So as of now, we don't have a very good bold vegetable ginger. This is Nadia. See the boldness. And if you want to use ginger processing in industrial purposes, you need bold, big sized either pineapple or any, 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 which is big in size. This is Nadia from Nagaland. We are trying to uh, release a variety from it. And this is uh, your Tandamathur. Uh, okay, the vegetable ginger, which is introduced by local farmer. He understood the requirement from Thailand, Thai ginger. Nutmeg, it gives you two spices. It's a big uh, addition to a cropping system, either coconut based or arecanate based or any other cropping system in between the corners, you can plant a nutmeg, additional income. It gives you two spices. See the nutmeg, this is a farmer's variety. The first variety which we have released, sir, this is Kerala Sri. Kerala Sri variety. This is another farmer's variety. You see the maize, how it is covering. Total. This is the person, sir. His name is, I have noted down. Release this variety, sir. You see the fruits. This is from there. Chitra knows. She has come back, I heard, and uh, release it, sir. That's why this photograph is put. Cinnamon is available. Crow. Nagar Koyal region. Some 200 
years back, those people have planted. You imagine the Black Rock, that owner, Simpson, Simpson, Simpson's estate, it is called, where there, even now there is no electricity there, sir. At the time itself, he brought, you know, they are visionaries. They saw from uh, socially silence and then brought the uh, cloud and transported those days, brought it here, planted in uh, Kalar Barliar and uh, Kurtalam area. And then from there, he has taken to Black Rock. Their vision today, India. Okay. Because, uh, of course, this is so many slides are there, but one small story again I will tell you. One day, our uh, Nobel laureate in agriculture, who is it, sir? Anybody in agriculture got a Nobel Peace Prize because there is no name Nobel Prize? Ask your Google, sir. Norman Borlaug. He is the only scientist, agriculture scientist, to get a Nobel Prize. He got Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> he died and went to that gate where this side is heaven, this side is hell. So just before our uh, Microsoft, Bill Gates, all those people also have gone. So Borlaug has gone and the watchman said, sir, what is your contribution? Give me the list, your biodata. He said nothing. I gave some three genes. Yes, three genes. Dwarfing genes. Oh, then your booking will be in hell only. Go there. And that man was slowly, uh, silently going. So watchman thought, uh, let him feel happy for some more time. I said, let me ask, sir, God, come back. Knowing very well, but he is a simple man, Pao, Borlaug, Bend is going. Then he went to Jesus Christ and told, sir, some old man is there, he's telling. At least five minutes, uh, can he stay in heaven? Wow. He asked, who is this? Barla. Jesus came running. Sir, next room to me is allotted to you. Then the watchman got shock of his life. Then he said, what is this, sir? Bill Gates, all this, uh, Elon Musk, all these people, you sent them there. And this fellow who did nothing. And he said, you don't know. He gave the genes for green revolution. Billions of people are eating and billions will eat as long as humans live. Bill Gates and this, nothing. Why I told the story, I hope you understand. If your contribution is there, don't worry, he never patented. If you would have patented, you would have been the richest man alive. That is the contribution of agri and horticulture. We scientists enjoy that. That farmer, that's why Black Rock, he died where he died, you don't know. The people are still poor. But today, cloud in India is because of that man who are the, the British person who brought to Kalar Barlier. Okay. So, of course, it's your people, dwarf club from, from that estate. This is your variety, sir, SA3 from Pichipara, you should release. Okay, okay. Love, love on. Seed spices, I removed all slides because too many slides. Okay, just want to show how to maintain germplasm. Yes, see, sir. Okay, you're taking 10 genotypes, 20 genotypes and studying. Who is maintaining them? Who takes the responsibility? Any of you are there in the maintenance of genetic purity of germplasm? Can you imagine? We have 1,70,000 rice, rice varieties. Just think of 1 to 1,70,000. Just write 1, 2, 3, 1,70,000. How much time it will take even to write a label? Are we appreciating that work? That's why I have just put this. Somebody is working on coriander. Can this picture shows the diversity of coriander, which is for grain type, 
which is a leaf type, which is a dwarf type, which is a tall type, straight away. Do you require data? No, no, no. You know. I always say, go to any crop in coriander or this season crop. Find out the first flowering one. You have already developed a variety at least 15 days earlier than the rest of the crop. You can reduce the short duration. Just look for it. Just to say the point only and see how to maintain genetic purity. You have to cover it. Otherwise, it's highly cross pollinated. Of course, these are all the diversity just to show. This is fenugreek. Where there is no diversity, these are all mutants. Sir. I have asked mutation in a vegetatively propagated crop. Mutation is an important this thing. So this is just next three slides just to show another point. All of you, I hope you are not getting bored. Shall we get up and do some exercise? Hmm? Jump up, down, then all the sleep will go. Usually the managing managerial trainees, they do it in between. Get up and jump, shout two, three times and sit down. <laughs> This thing goes. OK. You have a black pepper. OK, you have a ginger. What is the variety you get it in the market? You have cardamom. There is only one black pepper to you. There is only one cardamom. But do you know mango? There is dashari. There is salam. There is malgoa. How come? So we have not done variety specific product in spices. That is very, very important. Each of them are different. Each genotype is different. You know, some of you are doing biochemistry. Some of you are doing chemical fingerprinting, but it's all same. So kindly variety specific product. This is Alfonso pulp. It has this flavor. It has this uh, sweetness. It has this. But in spices, I have already told you, we have 3000 black pepper varieties, but we have again bulked up. So I'm trying to tell you not the data. I'm trying to tell you the opportunity you have. The farmers have got it and you have never got it. For the market demand. They want specific. Some Japanese market wants this. German market wants this. What they do, our people, they take the material, if they don't get the quality, they mix it with some other and which they call blending. I call it adulteration. And then sell it. And the next aspect is planting material production. So if you want a specific variety, we have I have already told you we have about 250 varieties of spices, sir. But where is the planting material? We have so many technologies. All of you publish so many papers. Either vegetative reproduction or that, this, this, these are all pictures of that. OK. Bush pepper. Pepper can be grown in your home. Everybody can grow pepper fresh. You don't need to fungus infected pepper. Typically one year old or two year old pepper which you get in the market fresh. The urban horticulture tomorrow, all your flat system, you can grow ginger in grow bag, you can grow turmeric, you can grow black pepper. This is how Vietnam, somebody was asking, sir was asking, why Vietnam gives you, it is 2,50,000 tons, is Vietnam, we are only 80,000 tons. This is how they grow, science and technology utilization and working hard in the field. See the intensity actually, that if you use a video that is a sprinkler systems which miss use okay. a mist on top of it okay. okay protected cultivation is coming now poly house which i will show you and this is you know where you would have gone to Wooty or something you see tea gardens in every standard you can put black pepper and we can easily meet because what I'm telling, we don't, the concept here is pepper doesn't need pure crop like Vietnam. Pepper can grow in a mixed cropping system. There is no need of extra area because India, we are 
We are the number one country in the world, no? Already, though it's not declared, 1.4 plus uh, billion population. We have crossed China. Too many people. So we can't grow like Vietnam. Pure, pure crops. So this is the system mixer cropping. This is also the picture from TNAU only. Turmeric single node technology. Turmeric you require about two tons of seed per hectare. Now you require just single node. Cut that, make a sprout, and you require only one fifth of the seed. One fifth of the seed. That means four fifths of seed we are saving. The saved seed is more than the total production of many countries. Protected cultivation using a single node cutting. Now, polyhouse and protected cultivation is coming very much. As we grow, 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 India is the only country which is going to grow population more and more, more and more. So we need more houses, more flats, more this thing. So protected cultivation is the only way. Uh, this I will explain later on. These are micro rhizomes to produce through in vitro culture, just like micro tubers of potato, you know. This is a system where the micro rhizomes. See, this is turmeric, you know. Micro rhizomes, small propagules. Micro irrigation, water is not available. Earlier, we used to have good rainfall. Today, it is. Rainfall is un totally unpredictable. This year they are predicting the heat is going to be so high. February itself is so hot now. What will happen in March? So micro irrigation. I think there was a presentation by a gel irrigation system. Maybe drip, drip irrigation, more crop per drop. Water we have to save, otherwise we have to drink dirty water. Soil scientists are there. Soil we have not neglected. These all have to grow in soil. And soil health is the most important factor. I think you are in Coimbatore where our Sadhguru also stays. And Sadhguru has traveled all over the world to say save soil. Isn't it? Soil is very important. Soil health. Site specific. Only what is required? Packages for organic cultivation. Less chemical, more of organic based. Crop specific micronutrient. The packages are all available. We all know maybe plant protection group if they are there. Biological control, VAM and trichoderma. A sort of organisms, you know, the, uh, the atmosphere uh, stays in equilibrium. So many people. So many animals, so many microbes. We live together in a balanced atmosphere. We try to increase the beneficial organisms and decrease the pathogenic organs. That's all fundamental. And if you have a formulation, again, if some of you can really work out a formulation, again, millions of rupees. You know, Tata, Tata Energy Research Institute, Terry, you have heard of it? You know, Terry has got the Nobel Prize. About a few years back, a group of scientists that is for sustainable system. They produce forestry plants, plant millions and billions of plants, and the plant once planted, nobody goes there and it has to survive. So they put the ideal rhizosphere. So once establishes, it will take care of himself. The forest regeneration is quite possible. This is the model which I want to say. This is the what I said, high density multi species cropping system in Central Plantation Crops Research Institute. See a coconut based system. Pepper climbs, pineapple comes, uh, clove and nutmeg is there. There are 22 crops grown in an area. This is for the last 60 years, not one or two. When I joined in service, this is there. Now I am retired. It is still there. OK, about 22 crops. The crops compete at different levels of sunlight, different levels of root system. This is good. This is a typical Kerala model. In Kerala, uh, we have small 
uh, land in front of our house. I have a jackfruit, I have a coconut, I have a mango, I have a ginger, I have a tapioca, I have this thing. Uh, that is little more uh, architecturally arranged and the competition is avoided. That's all. High density multi species cropping system. Nowadays, all the whole government for sustainable agriculture or horticulture is thinking perennial versus seasonal. Climate is changing. So, you will be able to work and predict using the GIS and other models, different layers. If a climate is changing, then the new areas are also becoming, some areas are becoming unsuitable and new areas are becoming suitable. You will be able to easily predict and say that, okay, sir, give the government an idea about if this region becomes unsuitable, temperature is rising, crop yields may not be there, go to the other region. So you will be a good advisor to the Ministry of Agriculture or the state ministry to be able to predict models by which where the crop can be grown. Food safety is the biggest issue. You don't know what you are eating. You see the label, happily eat it. What is there inside? Nobody knows. Spices are some of the most, what we call, poisoned. I always use the word poison, but we use call pesticide residues. Carolif, your carolif is one such. I I always joke, you make your good sambar, or good this thing, bring some carolif, throw carolif into your sambar, wash all the pesticide throw the curry leaf out and drink the sambar. Is not? What are you doing? Washing the pesticide of curry leaf into your sambar. <laughs> Throwing the curry leaf, which is medicinally important. Actually, curry leaf you should not throw. But you don't like. Okay. But many foolish things we do. These are all some of the seed coating technology. Uh, the biological control delivery system which goes with seed. These are all things you know it, but if it goes, farmer, uh, the difficulties of farmers can be reduced. Ginger is one thing. You know, Tamil Nadu people are going to Karnataka and going up to Maharashtra to grow ginger because it is infected with wilt and rot. There is no control mechanism. So you go on growing when the disease comes, Go to new area, new area, new area, and you are spreading the pathogen. This is the control measure. Endophytes. I think some most of you know. If you are some of you are doing tissue culture of uh, black pepper, you know that they are contaminating tissue culture. Everybody stop it. Tissue culture of black pepper because it contaminates contamination of cultures because they are endophytes. You may be knowing uh, which is the common endophyte in you. Anybody can ask a little bit. I think you are a little bored. Hmm. Which is the endophyte inside you? Say, sir, say something. Huh? Inside you. Hmm? You should see a coli, sir. E. coli. If it is not there, you can't even digest your food. So if you are uh, uh, taking uh, lots of antibiotic, the doctor advises you, you will not be able to digest your food. He will advise you take curds, like probiotic food. Equally is not there in your system. You cannot digest your food. Endophytes are very important, sir. Virus detection case. These are all some of the, just some information which you can get. A good agricultural practices are available. Sustainable agricultural practices are available and whatnot. A website provides you so much. Mechanization today, we want to, we don't, nobody wants to touch. They wear a glove. So yesterday we went to a hotel that he wear a gloves with that. It will touch the toilet, it will touch the bathroom, it will touch this thing, and then it will touch my idli also. Okay. But we, since he is wearing a hand glove, we think it is clean. Actually, it is the dirtiest part of it. His hand is much better. Okay. So what I am trying to say, when human touches, microbial count goes. In turmeric processing, if one man touches, the count will go more than one lakh units, microbial count. Export will not permit. It should be below 40,000. So completely automated, automated processing is needed. If turmeric boiling, 
uh, actually I have given you sir uh, turmeric boiling that machines. If you do it like that and show it other, nobody will purchase turmeric from India. It is filthy. Okay. Solar energy is another greatest advantage for us. It's all TNAU. Tamil Nadu Agricultural University is one of the pioneers in uh, processing, sir. Some of you can take up when you are working, when you are studying here. It is not only degree and uh, what is the rank I got it. These are all nothing. What is it you gathered with which you can make your life worthwhile and become an entrepreneur? This is processing units. Small processing units are required everywhere. These are all food items which are served with small, cheaper quality items and uh, turned into food product. Processor versus raw and little bit into biotechnology. Micropropagation is a very, very important. You know, today in a polyhouse cultivation, banana, almost 80% of banana cultivated is from tissue culture. Okay. So disease elimination, commercial planting, synthetic seeds, test you baby, <laughs> ginger doesn't set seed. Okay, in in vitro culture, you will be able to produce the seed. This is the ginger fruit and ginger plant which comes out of it. You have a technology of regeneration, callous regeneration, manipulation of cells. You can manipulate. So many somoclonal variants. You see the ginger variants are which we got at ISR from the somoclones. Turmeric, just see. So many traits got changed. Okay, so tremendous potential. If you are working in a tissue culture, within a span of less than one year, you will be able to develop quite a few varieties. See the range of variation you are getting in turmeric. These are micro rhizomes. See the that is the propagule. This is what we got it. This is the micro rhizome seen, turmeric. So seed material is saved. This is complete virus elimination in black pepper. Black pepper, 100% is virus infected. Vanilla is 100%. You can eliminate virus by direct cyclic somatic embryogenesis and treatment. This is actually somatic embryogenesis in black pepper. And you can eliminate viruses completely. Haploid genome, I'm not going into because already uh, time is getting over. Protoplast culture, this is in chili. This is in ginger and cardamom. Fingerprinting. Yes, I will not call it fingerprinting. I'll call it molecular profiling. So that you will be able to identify. The genotypes whether they are duplicates or they are hybrids, their parentage can be identified to what level the genome has come into this. Adulteration, checking adulteration by using DNA markers, you will be able to check whether the material is clean. We were able to prove that the material which has come from Sri Lanka, black pepper material is actually of Vietnam origin, not of Sri Lanka, but sold as Sri Lanka to India. And the revenue department has caught them and we have proved that it is from Vietnam. So that is the power of DNA diagnostics. Genome and transcriptome, if some, some of you are interested, you can approach me. I think you will be surprised black pepper, cardamom, turmeric and curry leaf. And quite a few are already in the process. The whole genome sequencing is available. Transcriptomes are also available. Anybody who is working in biotechnology, but transcriptome depends on person to person. The data is being used by China. This is the genetic transformation available. We have the technologies for black pepper, cardamom, ginger, vanilla. We can introduce the genes. We have already introduced in vanilla. We have even eliminated the virus components by coat protein mediated genes. Both by agrobacterium mediated as well as biolistic mediated transformation. This is a great potential which still there is 
may be great opening for you. How do you synthesize in cell lines? One of the greatest success was in uh, uh, vanilla. It is waiting for a patent. Capsaicin CFTRA has tried many times. We failed. We, we fail because in experimentation, uh, another important thing you should know is we fail. That, that doesn't mean that we fail forever. Somewhere things have gone wrong because banana tissue culture took almost 25 years to prove. Initially, they thought it cannot work. After Jain irrigation has succeeded only, then now it has become. Database are available, sir. Yet IISR, we have a big project on Phytophura, Phytophthora, Fusarium, Underalstonia, Phytophura. So there you get all the information, everything from about 20 institutions throughout ICR have worked at different aspects of it. Database are available for isolation by, by prospect. Right? Database are there, Phytophthora genomics. Biodiversity genomics, whatever is there, you don't need to work again on many things. What I'm, why I'm giving all this information is, much of the data is already available. You need not work on it. One thing is sure, if you are growing in Coimbatore and another in Uti, whether they'll be different, there will be difference. But that is like effect of climate on it. It's not a genetic difference. So there is no need of working on that again and again and again. That's what I'm trying to say. Try to find out. We are looking for constants and variables. Anyway, we'll go. So just to say, this, all these things have helped spices to increase our production. This is just to give you, where is Tamil Nadu? Try to find out. Fourth, fifth or sixth. Okay, area is production. Can you, all of you, can bring it up? Okay, that is your job. And horticulture and spices and plantation crops, or biotechnology, or soil scientist, or biochemistry, whatever you are working on. Can we make Tamil Nadu, which is somewhere in the eighth or ninth, somewhere here? Hmm? It's up to you. The target for you is that. Spices is making a stunning progress. Spices is growing. Tamil Nadu is coming. That means you are not up to the mark. <laughs> OK, so rice. Take it as a challenge. Why? Tamil Nadu either like a football team or a uh, uh, Vijay and Ajit are there. Uh, we are more interested in how much money you earn in the first day, second day, third day. Uh, cinema. If Vijay comes here, all of you in the front bench, why are you going to back bench? That shows your interest. Okay. Anyway, this, uh, this got uh, utterly confused, just like us. And uh, some last few important. Spices are highly important medicine, medicinal plants. Very, your grandmother knows. Garcinia is for anti-obesity. You imagine the business, billions. If you want to read it, because you know, we are now growing obese everywhere. It has to reduce. Garcinia has a solution. Nutmeg is main is cancer. Nutmeg wine, medicine is also hallucinogenic. So I have been suggesting to Kerala government to give nutmeg wine to the patients, palliative care, cancer patients who suffer painful death. Many of you don't even know because you are in a fine way of living. You don't even go to hospitals and see how many people are suffering in cancer hospitals with pain, pain, pain. And before they die, they would have faced all pain which is available in this world. Palliative care, what are you doing for them? Spices have a great potential along with many others. So this nutmeg wine, miristicin, is a hallucinogenic. Otherwise, you know, what we give them morphine, we make them sleep. Morphine is what we, is given to us 
when uh, uh, operations are done uh, this in like anesthetic nutmeg gives you nutmeg butter gives you and give that wine and the rules and regulations come anyway but uh, somewhere sense will prevail so you enjoy a nice drink of wine of uh, nutmeg and sleep so that you don't feel the pain before you die there is no other way taranis is antiviral tamiflu vaccine you have heard about 10 uh, years back about h1n1 uh, and all these things tamiflu vaccine is made of this thing taranis black pepper is a bio enhancer some of you biochemistry who is working conjugate black pepper with any generic drugs which costs you 20 lakh 30 lakh for your cancer treatment is a bio enhancer you need only very little very low quantity of your medicines potential wonderful fenugreek is anti diabetic cinnamon is anti diabetic fenugreek fiber fiber fenugreek fiber no it's a fantastic source of dietary fiber they will give you tablets fiber you know because you don't eat fiber you have to eat fiber so just see there are many more but you go to the website uh, that uh, iit delhi you will get it yes an, an idea alternative use of spices the proteins the dietary fibers the, all these slides show high value compounds to the, all the major diseases are available are you working are you horticulture is working on identifying a genotype which has the highest component of that particular component is biochemist working that uh, what is the structure and this thing how to purify that whether that will work in solo or in combination and then we produce a drug by which multi million you know just like can you imagine how much punawala made with this vaccine covid vaccine so biochemistry you have this equipment with you do the chemical fingerprinting nutritional profile these are all curcuma see the how many compounds you get just one okay this is nist uh, trivandrum is working just go to their website and find out these are all nutritional profiles anybody has done nutritional profiles of the present day uh, which your great grandfathers in science have done in united states we copy it in your thesis have we done nutritional profiling is so so much work is there and uh, potential future cosmetic industry is billions billions it doesn't show in spices market okay turmeric one of the most effective nutritional nano curcumin curcumin we even though we consume we, we don't absorb so much so it has to be absorbable follow the nano combinations or fresh harvesting actually turmeric you have to boil it you have to dry it no need sir today turmeric juice is extracted lyophilized freeze dried and exported so how much of workload harvesting turmeric cleaning boiling drying it takes about 1 to 1 and 1/2 months turmeric processing in tons do we need no need extract just out of box thinking why do you need is not necessary lot of our activities are not needed not as a no tra cosmetic cosmeceuticals and nutraceuticals biggest industry maybe may better later stage going to the airports you will find some of the face creams is running into thousands it is the same thing which your grandmother has made that is the industry the future is l'oreal because you are worth it okay not you you are worth it you are worth to your father and father spends all the money isn't it are you worth it make it worth it low volume high value the spices trade as our uh, dean is telling is completely changing from masala as i was just telling Uh, maybe next next generation anyway is not going to cook anymore 
they are not going to cook. They are going to eat ready made. What is that ready made thing they are going to give? You better know. OK, if you don't know, uh, when you know, you will omit all those last five years, whatever you have eaten. Future farms, a quick look. Polyhouse cultivation of ginger, crop combinations. Turmeric, sir, 100 hectares. Polyhouse, China is doing. India is now about uh, uh, some, some big. Th this is actually 100 hectare polyhouse, sir, but about four to five acres is under turmeric, is cultivation completely. Polyhouse, soilless cultivation. This is, you know, multi layer. This is going to be new technology. This is turmeric. Of course, you would have seen in YouTube. This is ginger. This is hydrophonics in ginger. Aerophonics in ginger. You know, no soil at all. See the rhizome which we got from hydrophonic, how clean it is. This is ginger. Have you ever seen ginger so clean? Okay. If in the but if you go to European market, ginger is always like there. You should be able to take it out and buy bite it. That is the future market. Okay, urban horticulture. The new horticulture is going to come. All building China is already at it. Europe is already at it. India is going to go. This Chinese concept of plant factories. I I don't know. Ten years you started, sir. I don't know. Huh. Uh, plant factory now, it is no more agri farms. Okay, this is LED light, high intensity light, no more dark. The plants are continuously forced to do continuous photosynthesis in a controlled environment. China is far, far ahead of it. Digitally, all of you know, I sit in agriculture, spices. Now, in another five years, if you see a spice packet except in India, it will have a barcode, QR code. It will tell you who is the farmer, which is the location, where it is grown, which year, what is the packing material done. The entire process is available, traceability. And you go down to website and find out what is the location. If the location is having heavy metal concentration, Throw it out. Don't take it. That's the system which is going to come. If I now lead contamination is coming, sir. Lead contamination in all turmeric. Why it is coming? Nobody will touch you. No more yield. No more variety. And digital data is available to everybody in fingerprint. You know, your car driving, it will tell you your shop where you are nearby. That is the information available. So now they tell you where this particular turmeric packet or ginger packet or spice packet is grown, from where it has come, where the rainfall is good, soil is good, water is good, atmosphere is good, in which it is grown. Otherwise, they will say that heavy metal is possible. Yeah. Uh, pesticide is possible, sir. These are all ISR uh, databases which are available for ICT systems. Everything is available, including mobile apps. It's there in TNA also, sir. Ah, but it has to be at this level of traceability. Anyway, and last one, sir, for you. What are you going to do after your uh, degree? You know, you're going to come out in one year or so, if not this year, into master of uh, whatever it is. And uh, government jobs are no more available. Sale, trade. Last but one slide. If you are not doing, China will do it. You may have to work. Either you use your intelligence to work for yourself, or somebody will employ you to work for themselves. What do you want to do? OK, if India can't do it, China will do it and doing it already. You may work for a Chinese company that they will pay you. Your dreams, your these things are for fulfilling Chinese person's dreams. 
that's after you. And thank you for patiently waiting for all this nonsense, whatever I said. If you have learned something, I'll be happy. If you have not learned, it is continues to be nonsense. OK, so last this thing is. Use your intelligence to fulfill your dreams, not somebody's dreams by working for that. You can be entrepreneur. I have just given you how many opportunities because of the time limitation. I could not explain individuals this thing. Each one is a great opportunity. You want to do planting material production? Do it. When Anandas can make 25 shops, you know. Why you can't make spices processing uh, small machinery which, which everybody can use in 25 these things all over the country? Why not? Supply hydrophonically grown ginger into the market in all the retail shops of Reliance. Clean, healthy, guaranteed, we know. Instead of uh, selling uh, 20 lakh tons of uh, a black pepper will send you 5 kgs of the essential oil, which will, which will cut, uh, give us more money than all the junk. See, the processing plants are in Canada. The best ginger is produced in Northeast. Do you know to transport 1 kg of ginger from Northeast to Canada it costs 17 rupees? What are you transporting? Watch. Because after printing here, you have to drive it now. Only 15 to 20 percent of this thing rest is water. So, what are you transporting? Water, are you not ready? These are all failures in our system. We can do it. You can go to the office, have that water removed there, and transport it. You will get a margin of 70 rupees per kg. Imagine. How much ginger is needed in Canada? Lacks of tons. What is your income? You know, we have our startups. You know, the next rule is business planning and websites. We said it. Have you ever got it? Don't find out what you measure it. IAM people, IAM, uh, Calicut has an IAM, one of the top IAMs in the country. Many of the people did not join US or anything. They joined, they want to make their own enterprise. Angry entrepreneurs. They're not going to be agriculture company. Can you be an agri entrepreneur? Please. Take me. And live your dreams. All the best for you. Because you are the future of India. We are already hands off. We can already talk, but we can't do it. Comments are nice. And we hope you will not disappoint us. Thank you. Now the session is open for discussion. If you have any doubt and questions, you can clarify with the sir. Hello, good evening, sir. Hello. Hello. Myself, Dr. Subaya. I have an inquiry, sir, in Vanilla. So about this uh, virus, 40Y and 40X, this virus, uh, they are very problematic. Uh, so it can be removed through virus elimination techniques, sir? No, sir. In vanilla, virus elimination is very, very difficult because almost 100% of vanilla is infected. So what we do okay. is, easiest method is uh, seed germination. Many people say seed, 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 seed. Okay. Seed. Uh, seed germination, okay. But it requires some support now. Yeah, yes. Farmers so, can't do sir. But the planting. So did it in vitro? Sir, in vitro G germination? Uh in, in vitro. Okay, okay. Uh, and the seeds are very tiny and minute now. It is inconsistent because we can't see. Um right now we are working, sir. We are still far away from virus resistant uh uh, genotypes, coat protein, I have already already told. But right now, sir, you collect why uh, disease-free 
planting material from uh, organizations which supply clean plant okay. material. Oh. You will not be able to do, sir. Uh, it is not possible, but uh, seed germination is possible, but it takes a long time, sir. You get disease-free planting material from uh, research organizations. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank the you, moment, sir. Uh, the moment you see virus, just cut and burn. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I would like to call Dr. Rajalingam, Professor, Department of Spices and Plantation Crop, to deliver vote of thanks. Respected and our most distinguished chief guest of the day, Dr. Nirbal Babu, sir, our beloved Dean Horticulture, Dean PGs, and our HOD, sir, and other professors, my dear students. I do make a great honor to propose the word of thanks to all who have helped us in making this endowment lecture such a resounding success. First of all, I would like to propose hearty word of thanks to our, to our chief guest, Dr. Nirmal Babu, sir, for gracing today's lecture. Thank you, sir, for your very interesting and thought-provoking address. You have done an excellent presentation, sir. This lecture is this lecture was interesting and meaningful. I would like to express our profound gratitude to our Dean School of Postgraduate Studies, Dean Horticulture, and our Professor and Head for their help rendered for conducting this endowment lecture. Then I am happy to express what of thanks to Dr. Morgan Lakshmi. PG coordinator, Dr. Morada Chalam, and other non-teaching staffs who have helped for conducting this endowment lecture. I also thank the PhD scholars, uh, Ms. Vaishnavi, Abhinaya, Chandra Kala, Agil Raj, Darshan Balaji, Nasir, Mugum, and uh, other students for their useful contribution. Finally, the wonderful students who have turned up in such great numbers, not only from your department, but also from other department also. Thank you so much for your cooperation, sir. Thank you.